So today I want to show you the easiest way to use the pen tool in Affinity Photo. Now I've got my pen display actually right here, but we're not going to use this. I just want to show you how to do this with a mouse or with a trackpad. Now I actually found this amazing image in the stock panel um, right here. And I actually looked for Kevin, um, but I found this image and I thought it was the perfect example for this tutorial. And I want to select the light blue color of the car. But before we start, I would like to invite you to my brand new school community called the Affinity Photo Creatives, which you can join for completely free. Once you've joined, you'll get access to a community with over 300 Affinity Photo Creatives from all around the globe. This is probably the only community of this type for Affinity, mm. where people are supportive and helping and generous and not judging. We're all on the same journey and we're all here to to help each other grow and learn together. Inside there, you will also find a classroom with free courses that you can follow and unlock. And this will also be the place where we're gonna host live calls, challenges, contests, and so much more. Now, as you can see, there's lots of inspiration and content to find in this community. So if you're interested, click the link in the video description and we would love to welcome you inside of the community. All right, let's continue. So what I would recommend you do is zoom in as far or as close as you can and just click in some corner so let's click right here in the corner because there's that's where our uh, blue color is and what i want to do now is just trace the object while clicking so i'm just going to click right here click right here and i just want to kind of be careful or kind of be thoughtful i should say where you want your um, points to be so basically on long edges obviously it is very easy we can go right here and go this way and go this way all right so now we actually face our first corner what you want to do is click just before the corner starts and click right after the corner so i see the corner starts around here the corner ends around here so i'm just gonna click there and that should be fine for later so i'm just gonna continue and we're gonna go here this isn't too difficult let's take this into account as well and this object is pretty straight same again here's a corner let's click right before the corner let's click right after the corner and also you see a curvature right here this curvature starts here the curvature ends about here so let's click right here same here curvature starts right here and ends somewhere around here and yeah this is basically you'll get a feel for it once you do this a lot so same again corner starts right here corner ends right here and that's about perfect now a great tip is that you don't want uh, a snapping turned on because this is really annoying when you're working with the pen tool so make sure you have snapping turned off right here in the uh, toolbar so let's continue we're gonna click here go around the corner maybe go something like this and now obviously this is the opposite way so instead of um yeah instead of like being on the outside of the corner we are in the inside but it, it works just the same so you go click where the corner is about to start and where the corner is about to end so it should be somewhere around here same for this one corner should start there corner ends around here starts here and around here and we're just going to continue all the way now i can just skip this little thing Let's actually go all the way here. Same again, corner starts around here. And this is kind of a weird corner, so it is not like a fluent corner, let's say. So I will just click somewhere around here and then somewhere click, uh, click somewhere around here. And yeah, I think we're doing pretty fine. I think we're almost there. If you don't need a corner, so if you just need a sharp edge, you just click in a sharp edge and then you return to wherever you want to go. All right, so this is step one of selecting process with the pen tool. All right, so now we've came full circle. You want to make sure to click the last note or the first note, I should say. And you see this little circle uh, icon appear. It is super small, but that means that you're actually closing the curve. So let's do that. Let's click and let's close the curve. Now, the next trick that we want is we want to work with the note tool. So the pen tool goes together with the note tool. And the note tool, you can access it by clicking and holding the pen tool 
so you'll find a node tool right here but what i actually usually do is just hold command so if i have my pen tool selected and i hold command it just turns into a node tool temporarily now we're gonna fix our curvature let's say or our curve so i'm gonna zoom in again and what you want to do is you want to hold control or command and you can just adjust your curvature so let's say we i'm gonna click right here and let's say we want a little curvature right here same for this one it is kind of hard to see what we're doing here because of the quality of the photo um but yeah we're just gonna figure it out something like this should probably do the job and so far i'm just gonna click on these lines let's say so on the connecting lines now you don't want this to be super pointy so what you can do is go up to your context toolbar and you can actually convert it into a smooth one so if i click this one it just adds these two handles and now also with these two handles if you hold command you can drag these handles separately let's say now there's another trick if you hold command and you want to drag one handle you can hold alt as well or um, option and now you can just drag one handle which is super useful but i'm just going to continue so i'm going to hold command just moving these lines now as you can see you can also move your nodes around so if i hold command and click drag around either one or multiple nodes you can move them as well so i'm still holding command and you can just move them around so if i want to move around one i could do that um, but you can also move multiple at the same time now I'm going to turn both of these into a smooth node and we're just going to continue. I'm going to select both of these and I'm just going to turn it into a smooth curve. Um, yeah, it probably doesn't do too much, but it might look, make it look a little better. This one, I'm going to hold command and I'm just going to drag it a little out. Now you can see that I actually um, destroy my whole curvature right here. So I'm going to press command Z and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, command click on this line and it will actually create a new node. So if I click right now, you can see I created a new node and now I can drag this line. So instead of dragging the full line, I can just focus on, um, yeah, the line in between the nodes, let's say, or the curve, I should say. So let's click on this one. We're going to turn it into a smooth one to make, yeah, to make the line look smoother. We're going to move it a little bit and yeah, I think this looks about fine. I see that I put a note right here, which I can probably delete. So if you want to delete notes, you can just click and drag around one note and hit delete and that would delete um, that or your selected notes. So I'm going to hold command and I'm just going to fix this one a little bit i see that i'm gonna miss miss some pixels which is not too bad so i'm just holding command well i might actually just select the node tool now because why would i just hold command that's usually my workflow but it's probably easier to just grab the node tool i'm just being stubborn and um, yeah doing what i'm used to so same thing we just click and drag this out maybe make both of them smooth to make it a nice smooth curve there we go and here we can well here yeah, we kind of need a sharp corner i probably can delete this one that doesn't look too necessary um, move this thing up a little bit maybe maybe we can smoothen it out but i think it's just gonna mess it up so let's not do that this is kind of a straight line let's move this one down just a touch maybe drag this one up a little bit this looks fine this looks fine oh by the way if you want to have a clearer view of your um of your line so obviously this blue line is very thin what you could do is just add a stroke so if you go to your context toolbar and you actually add a red stroke you can set it to one pixel or maybe two pixels um, depending on your preference um, i would rather say it, set it to one and yeah just drag this red line around instead of this super super thin blue line but as you can see affinity or i did already quite a good job because i carefully placed my nodes so um yeah this just makes it a whole lot easier in the end to fix yeah to make everything look good let's say so if you place your nodes correctly it just makes it a whole lot easier in the end 
and that is just um yeah it's just experience basically you just want to know where to put your notes and which ones to make smooth and usually yeah obviously like the notes around straight edges you don't need to make them smooth but if there's a curvature sometimes you don't need to because i think if i wouldn't smooth these notes it would just look fine and by the way it also matters if you click on the left or right side of the note because if i click on the left side you can see that i drag this line in a whole different way than if i would drag it from the middle right here so just yeah it is kind of experience but it's very useful to know how this tool actually works because you can actually make the best selections um, with the pen tool depending on what you're selecting obviously because if you're selecting fur then you don't really want to mess around with the pen tool but let's say for solid objects as i would call these things then yeah the pen tool would definitely be the best to use all right i think we're almost around all right this looks good we just have to drag this one up a little bit oops and there we go all right so let's zoom out a little bit and yeah now we see our selection uh, quite clear actually well when i zoom far out it's way too far um but yeah this is basically what it looks like if i would um make my outline a little thicker now, obviously, you can see that we've got a window right here. So what I, what would happen right now if I, let's actually hide our, um, our outline for now. What would happen if I would make a selection right now? So let's uh, go back to our pen tool. And we're going to turn this thing into a selection. And let's say we want to change the color of this vehicle. So I'm going to go to my layer adjustments and let's go to a recolor adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer would allow me to change the color, as you can see. But you can also see that I'm coloring the window and these mirrors and yeah, all of that, which is something I don't really like because they are not the color of the car, basically. We're going to press Command Z a few times. Now, to fix this, you want to go up here to your context toolbar and you want to click this little icon which says add new curve to selected curves object. So let's click that one. And once I click right here and I start selecting this um, window, you will see that we can actually subtract this part from our um, current selection. So let's actually go around this mirror as well. No, wait, we're going to go like this, obviously. And then we're going to go like so. And now this is, has been added to our curve. So if I would press fill right now, you can see that this part is actually excluded from our selection right now. So now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold command and I'm just going to click drag these points. All right. So this looks pretty good. Let's zoom out. And yeah, so now we've got our curve layer once again. Uh, what we could also do to change the color of this car is just add a fill so we can add some yeah let's say some i don't know purple lila fill and just change the color uh, sorry change the blend mode to color and that would also do the job so instead of using a recolor adjustment layer we could change the color in this way and that is the easiest way to use the pen tool in Affinity Photo. Now, make sure to join my community with the link down below. It is going to be an amazing experience and it is absolutely free. So looking forward to see you inside. See you in the next one.